them. Oh sh! Them. Oh sh! What's up, guys? It's Deathstroke, and welcome to a keyboard review. Yes, I've kind of stopped doing some stuff, but hey, I am back doing something. And today we're reviewing a Techware Phantom RGB. And today we have a special guest featuring. <coughs> okay, thank you. Welcome to the PewDiePie channel. Oh wait, this is not. This is not PewDiePie channel. So today we'll be talking about this keyboard over here with Otil with switches. Um, for at least 30 keyboard actually, what do you think? You own this keyboard so you know more about this. Go on. The Techware Phantom RGB I'm using here is Otemu Red Switches. The lighting mode you're seeing right now is Wave. So there are more than one built-in lighting mode that you can choose from the keyboard itself. Or you can use the Techware software to customize however you like. So Techware also kind enough to provide us a keycap remover and it's conveniently stored behind the keyboard. So the keyboard also came with few extra switches and a switch remover. So the cable is actually braided and a velcro like thing is included for cable management and the USB plug is gold plated. So the keyboard has this rail to let you decide which side your wire is going to suit your setup. The keyboard also has four rubber feet to prevent it from slipping while you're typing on it. So on the top right is the older version of Techware Phantom RGB and the bottom left is a newer version of Techware Phantom RGB. For the older version, you can see they use blue LEDs for the indicator lights. As for the newer version, they are using white LEDs for the indicator light. Here's a sound test of the older version modded with Vaporon clears. Here's a sound test for the Otemu Red version. So overall, I like the keyboard. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Techware in any shape or form. So for entry level keyboard, or should I say mechanical keyboard, I think it's a good recommendation to those out there that still don't own a mechanical keyboard. Or some might say mechanical keyboard is not the best choice for typing or whatever. It's all based on you. If you think it's nice, you can go for it. And like and share or subscribe to this channel. <laughs> if you guys would like to see a modding video on how to change the switches on this keyboard or mod a switch itself like using Otemu shell and change the inside of the trigger and the spring, leave a comment below and I'll, I'll upload that video. Bye! Bye.